Coming off of Q1, what's your assessment of the market right now and the demand that is out there? Well, the demand is phenomenal. We've never seen in our company's history demand for our product and services at the level we are. In the month of March, we had the highest sales in terms of bookings of any month in our history, period. Highest so, ever? Highest ever in March. Not just and, going back to the start no, of pandemic. Highest ever, and this is continuing into April. The consumers are ready to go. Our people are out there doing their very best to serve uh, the uh, surging demand. But people are ready to go when they're traveling, and, and the, there's great preference for Delta. As you ramp up your schedule, how much of a headwind, if you will, is the ability to add staff so that you can add as many flights, as many crews as you need, uh, especially as we head into the summer uh, schedule? Well, right now we're only operating about 85 percent of our schedule, and we expect that you know, through the first part of the summer into the second quarter, only about 85 percent. Partly it's because international restrictions are limiting what we can fly internationally. Domestically, we're about 90 percent. We've been getting out ahead of the staffing issue for basically the last year and a half. In fact, since the start of last year, we've hired 15,000 people onto Delta at all levels. Pilots, flight attendants, reservationists, airport agents, you name it, mechanics. And as a result of that, our team is ready to serve. So we're well staffed for the summer. Uh, we're going to bring the rest of the capacity back over the next 12 to 18 months in a very disciplined manner. As we get the, the pilots trained and the new pilots into the new seats, there will be a gradual return. Maybe by the end of the year, if we really pushed it, we could get back to 100 percent. But candidly, right now, with the amount of demand we have, we're sitting in a pretty good spot on staffing. You have raised your fares, as have all of your competitors, uh, dramatically as demand has returned. You've got to offset what you're seeing with jet fuel. Have you been a little bit surprised at how much you've been able to raise them? Not that you're trying to, to get more from the consumer, mm -hmm. but you've raised them dramatically, yet the demand is still there. You haven't seen the pushback of people saying, whoa, too far. Well, they've been raised dramatically as compared to last year or maybe even the year before. But those were periods when the pandemic was really depressing airfares and we didn't have traffic. So it's really not fair to compare it to the last two years. You really have to go back to 2019. And yes, fares are up relative to 2019 but not necessarily as dramatic as the just one year indications suggest. We are coming up on the Monday deadline for the mask mandates. Uh, we haven't heard yet from the CDC, the TSA, the White House. If it's extended again, which some people are expecting, do the consumers, do your passengers, your customers look at this and say, I'd rather not have it, but it is what it is and I will just kind of gut it out? Well, you know, we, we don't have a, you know, we've expressed our opinion. I feel very strongly that the mask mandate should be lifted and let individuals, including our own employees, make their own decisions and take personal accountability for, for their health on board our planes. The air on board our planes is the cleanest air you'll find anywhere with respect to the HEPA filters, the cleanliness of our aircraft conditions. And candidly, uh, it's time to let the masks go and let people decide, because you're still going to see a lot of people sure. having the option to wear the mask. I may wear the mask when I travel, especially if, I'm, if I've got a cold or something else. But I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope they lift it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.